Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. You remember in our previous lesson we saw the service sector, which is among the main sectors of the Ethiopian economy. In this program we will learn about the Ethiopian population growth. Population is the source of two important factors of production, namely labor and entrepreneur. Thus, Population is one of the resource bases of Ethiopia. Students, the size, the geographical distribution, and composition of population in Ethiopia is estimated through census. Census is the complete enumeration of the whole population. Three population censuses have been conducted in Ethiopia so far. The first was conducted in 1984 which estimated Ethiopian population to be 39.5 million. The second was conducted in 1994, which estimated Ethiopian population to be 53.5 million. The third census, which was conducted in 2007, estimated Ethiopian population to be 73.9 million. Students, have you observed from the figure that Ethiopia's population is growing very rapidly? In fact, population is growing at a very high rate. Between 1984 and 1994, the population of Ethiopia increased by 13.6 million. This makes an average annual growth rate of 2.8%. Between 1994 and 2007, the population increased by 20.4 million. On average, it grew by 2.6%. Though the growth rate in the second period is lower than the first period, the population growth rate still remains high. Students. Do you realize from the growth trend that the time for Ethiopia's population to double is becoming shorter and shorter? Also, note that the population growth rate is not uniform across regional states and between rural and urban areas. Let's see some examples. The 2007 National Census report shows that between 1994 and 2007, the following regional states of Ethiopia experienced the highest population growth. These are Gambella Regional State by 4.1%, Benshangul Gumuz Regional State by 3%, Southern Nations, Nationalities and Peoples Regional State by 2.9%. The Oromia Regional State by 2.9%. Now, let's see the characteristics of the Ethiopian population in terms of age and sex composition. Sex composition provides information that is important in the analysis of reproductive potential, human resources, and school attendance, and so on. According to the 2007 National Census Report, the male proportion was 50.5%, which is slightly higher than the female proportion of 49.5%. The sex composition by region also shows variation. For example, according to the 2007 Census Report, Afar, Somali, and Gambella regions have more male population. In Afar region, the proportion of male was 55.7%, while that of females was 44.3%. In Somali region, the proportion of male was 55.6%, while that of the female was 44.4%. In Gambella Regional State, the proportion of males was 52%, while 
while that of females was 48%. In Addis Ababa, the proportion of females, which was 52.4%, was higher than the proportion of males, which was 47.6%. Students, variation in sex composition exists not only among regions, but also exists between urban and rural areas. Let's see the sex composition in urban and rural areas. The 2007 National Census showed that the proportion of the male population in urban areas was 49.7%, while the proportion of the female population was 50.3%. The report also showed the proportion of males in rural areas was 50.6%, while the proportion of the female sex was 49.4%. This takes us to our next discussion on age composition of the Ethiopian population, which is the other basic demographic characteristic of population. Students, data on age composition is important in planning of socio-economic development. As you can see from the figure, the proportion of young people whose age is below 15 years was 49.8% in 1984, and it declined to 45% in 2007. This shows Ethiopia has a very young population. The proportion of working age group, whose age ranges between 15 and 64, was 50.2% in 1984, and it increased to 51.9% in 2007. The proportion of population, aged 65 years and above, decreased from 3.4% to 3.2% between 1984 and 2007. This shows there was no significant change in the proportion of elderly persons in the years. Students, the age and sex composition of a population can be shown graphically using population pyramid. Let's see the 2007 population pyramid of Ethiopia. In population pyramids, the base shows people of the youngest age and the top shows people of the eldest age. As you can see, Ethiopian population pyramid has a wide base that narrows upward. This shows a high birth rate and a high death rate and increasing population. I hope you've noted the sex and age composition of the Ethiopian population. Let's see the factors that affect the size and growth of population. Among the factors that affect the size and growth of population, the important ones are fertility, which refers to birth in a population, mortality, which refers to death in a population, and international migration, which refers to movement of people across the national boundary. I am sure you've understood the factors that affect the size and growth of population. Let's see the main features of the Ethiopian population. Ethiopia's population has a number of features. One of the features is that it has a high population growth rate, which is high as 2.6%. Other most important features are high infant mortality, that is, high death rate of children below one year, low life expectancy, and high dependency ratio. Students, I now want you to do the following activity, which refers to the impact of population. Discuss the question with the students sitting next to you. Here is the question. What are the most important impacts of high population growth on the Ethiopian economy.
I hope in your groups you have discussed and identified the impact of high population growth in Ethiopia. Now check your answers. High population growth in Ethiopia has a number of impacts on the economy. The following are the most important ones. It leads to deforestation and erosion because of demographic pressure. It reduces per capita income because of high dependency ratio. It reduces the per capita land holding. Understanding these impacts of high population growth on the economy, the Ethiopian government formulated the national population policy. What are the most important impacts of high population growth on the Ethiopian economy? This policy aims at narrowing the gap between high population growth and low economic growth. It also aims at reducing maternal, infant and child morbidity and mortality rates. Students, as we have seen earlier, high dependency ratio is among the features of the Ethiopian population. For example, in 2007, Dependency ratio in Ethiopia was 93%. Now, let's see how we can calculate dependency ratio. Dependency ratio is the ratio or proportion of economically inactive age group to economically active age group. By economically active, we mean those people whose age is between 15 and 64. Economically inactive refers to those people whose age is less than 15 or more than 65. From the formula, we can see that dependency ratio equals the sum of economically inactive groups divided by economically active group multiplied by 100. In other words, dependency ratio means the number of dependents among every active people. For example, let's say in a certain country the number of people economically inactive is 20 million while that of economically active is 25 million. Based on that assumption, let's calculate the dependency ratio of this country. Dependency ratio equals 20 million divided by 25 million and multiplied by 100. Then dependency ratio becomes 80 percent. This means for every 100 people who are economically active, there are 80 economically inactive people that are dependent on the remaining 20 people. 
I hope you know how to calculate and interpret dependency ratio. Now, answer the following question individually, based on what we have discussed earlier. Here is the question for the activity. Suppose the total population of a given country is 40 million. From this population, the total number of economically active number of people is 23 million. Then calculate dependency ratio and interpret your answer. I hope you've done the exercise correctly. Now, let us do the exercise together. Are you ready? Good. Here, we need to find the number of economically inactive people. To get that from the total population, we subtract economically active people. This equals 40 million minus 23 million which equals 17 million. Dependency ratio equals 17 million divided by 23 million multiplied by 100. This equals 74%. Meaning, there are 74 economically inactive and dependent on 100 economically active people. Students, we're about to wind up today's lesson. So let's summarize what we've learned in this lesson. Today, we learned about the population growth. We discussed that population is the source of two important factors of production, namely labor and entrepreneur. We also discussed the sex and age composition of the Ethiopian population. We saw that there is variation in sex composition among regions and urban and rural areas. In our next session, we will see the land resource of Ethiopia. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. See you in our next program. Until then, it is goodbye from me. Goodbye.